Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 27, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have been all over the place today. Not a lot of movement, but we did not manage to break the previous highs from yesterday of 4,215. And that could be a signal that we are about to break back down towards the 20 exponential or yeah, probably the 50 moving average down here at the 4,100, give or take. If this basically breaks, then we are most likely going towards 4,000. If we manage to take out these previous signs from yesterday, then we are looking at the top of the bullish band here at 4,240, give or take. Technical indicators, they are not very bullish at this point. MACD is flat, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is turning around here, becoming and is basically flat at this point, and so is the RSI. So, yes, there is not a lot of movement, neither yesterday nor today in this market. So, let's look at the Dow Jones. So, Dow Jones is a little bit worse. We... Uh, uh, same thing here. We did not manage to take out the previous highs from yesterday, and we could be looking at something similar to this. So, very similar. We didn't manage to take out the previous highs here, and then we fell back towards the 50 moving average. And we could be seeing this similar thing here that we break back down towards a 33 point, uh, 33,700, give or take. Uh, Technical indicators, they are also very, well, very flat at this point. MACD is basically flat um, or more bearish. The stochastic is flat. The CCI is becoming bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So it looks like that is the case. If we manage to bounce from the 20, then we'll probably head down towards the top of the bullish band, which is around the 34,760, um, give or take. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So Nasdaq is also struggling here at, at uh, 13,730. We did not manage to take out the previous signs from yesterday, and we could be heading back towards the 50 moving average or the middle of the bullish band. If this basically breaks, then we are probably looking at 13,000, give or take. That's the same level that we found support down here. If this breaks, then we were looking at the 200 moving average down at 12,000. 600 Gerdig. If we manage to take out the previous highs from yesterday, then we are probably going towards the top of the bullish band, which is at 13, uh, 14,000 and then beyond that. Technical indicators are fairly more bullish for the NASDAQ than they are for the SP 500 and the Dow or the Dow Jones. We can see the MACD is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is also becoming bullish, heading towards 100, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX is um, looking fairly weak at this point. Um, it has been hitting the top of the bullish band and breaking back towards the 50 moving average. We have done that twice. Um, recently, right here and also here, and it looks like we are doing the same, um, the same thing now, hitting the top of the bullish band and then breaking back down towards the 50 and before going higher. So it's just steadily going higher towards the uh, 15,000, um, 15, uh, 16,000, or or that is kind of the target in the long run. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around at this point. MACD is flat. Stochastic is becoming bearish, CCI is also turning around, becoming bearish, and the RSI is also bearish at this point. So let's look at the UK 100. So UK 100 is finding support at the 20 exponential. So it has been going back and forward, has rallied a little bit at the end of the session, but still we're negative and we have not managed to take out the previous highs from yesterday. So there is a chance that this could break the 20 exponential and break towards the 50 moving average which has been massive support um, recently we saw it here here and also when we got close to it here that it has really bounced and has a massive reaction every time it gets close to the 50 moving average so we're trading at 7033 at this point 
And if we manage to take out the previous highs from yesterday, they will mostly go towards 7,120, give or take, and then 7,200. Technically, they are not looking very bear, uh, very bullish. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is flat, CCI is also becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the China 50. It has... Uh, the contract basically expired today, so um, there hasn't been any data. So, so that is probably the reason why we're not seeing anything here. But expectations for this is um, that we'll most likely have a pullback uh, when this reopens. And um, at this current stage, all technicians are very bullish. We are significantly outside of the Bollinger Band, and we're also in the edge of being overbought. So pull back towards roughly 17,000. Um, and 700, that is probably what will happen before we continue higher. So, I hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.